man. Can't believe I'm here. I'm missing all these sneak peeks. Oh, this sucks. For all the ghouls love Halloween. <laughs> I am Mr. Halloween Hunter, and yes, everyone, I have returned from my scouting overnight camp. So, I'm now going to be delivering you guys the three sneak peeks I have missed while I was gone. So, this is one of the three I've missed, and well, today we're going to be talking about Tortured Torso. So, he has made it to my top 7 favorite for this year. Um, so far, we haven't gotten every animatronic yet, so I cannot, you know, say he's going to be on my top 7 for long. But there are some pros and, you know, cons, which there's pros and cons of every prop. Not every prop is going to be perfect. So, the con I actually have is surprisingly going to be the detail on his face yes um it looks more you know doesn't look human nor does it look you know realistic I guess it's showing more skull than human it doesn't actually fit the character well if it was like an electrified corpse yes chin up zombie yes now those are the two props that actually give me this guy's vibe, so... But the cons are not going to let me, you know, bring this prop down. The pros I have are that he's 5.8 feet, yes, tall. Now, not from the ground to his, you know, to his full body, but from, you know, the half of his torso to the end of his arms. Which, if you don't know, basically has his arms sticking all the way up like this and just, you know, shaking around all crazy. But, that's what pro I have, because you don't want to, you know, hanging prop that isn't big. And, another pro I actually have is that he has constant motion. Not a lot of these, you know, props have constant motion. The Pumpkin Patch Prowler from last year actually has a constant motion feature, and that's one of the reasons why I bought him. Now, I'm pretty sure... That Spirit is going to be adding constant motion to more of the upcoming props. Which is going to be very, very exciting. And I can't wait for that. But, there um, is some issues, I guess, with constant motion. Is the animatronics are going to break more easily because of that. Because if they're running for a long period of time, they are going to start breaking. So... I don't know how he would break, possibly a wire might get pulled from him thrashing around and such, which um, that's kind of what happened to my Prowler over there, you cannot see him, he's off screen. Yeah, and speaking of, what's going on here? Well, while I was away, my parents actually redid my room, so there is, you know, all these animatronics currently sitting on the farm riser for now. My room isn't complete yet, so this spot isn't permanent. This is probably going to be for at least the upcoming sneak peeks, possibly to the end, but my room should be complete by the beginning of August. But, going back to the sneak peek, um, that's how my Pumpkin Patch Prowler broke the first time. Luckily, I was able to get him fixed. It's because he's just been running a constant motion going, you know, back and forth like this. So, that's something you gotta watch out for for constant motion, but on the pro side of that is more people are gonna see it. Now the more people who see it are gonna get scared because if you don't if you just see, you know, the torso just hanging randomly, not moving, yes it's gonna look creepy, but it would look more creepy if it was moving. So if it was on constant motion, people are gonna notice it. So, the price for this guy is $130, sorry, or $129.99, and honestly, that isn't a bad price for him. 
if you use a coupon, you're literally going to get them for at least $100, a little bit more, but that's honestly an awesome deal. Quite the steal. <laughs> so, what are you guys' thoughts on this tortured torso? Leave them in the comments below. For all the ghouls of Halloween, of course. I'm Mr. Tommy Hunter, and see you in the next Spirit Halloween sneak peek. <laughs>